What's going on guys? Um, Paul Clay Chasing Cyclist, as we all know. Uh, we're here today to do a review on The Theorem by Jago and Matt Suck My Mod. Um, got this from the Siggy shop in Lisburn, which I'm proud to say I'm now employed by. Yeah, Colin phoned me there last week and offered me a job. And I wasn't going to turn him down because I've always wanted to work in a vape shop. So, why not? But I'll still be doing my reviews. You're not going to get rid of my eye easy. Um, this means I'm getting to play with more toys. Which means I'll have more, hopefully, stuff for you to, to see anyway on YouTube. So, I got this. We're selling it for £29 in the Siggy shop. And that's all of them. So, you have Lisburn, Newton Arge Road, Ballymena and Bombridge. So, check it out. Uh, what do you think of it so far? So far I've been using it uh, about five days now and love it. Love it the bits. So what we're going to do is dive down, take a look in the box. I'm going to put a, a build that I use on it. Um, talk about the notch coil and all that good stuff. So let's dive down. Right guys, so this is the box it comes in. You've got the front here, you've got the automator itself. Two spare tanks and your spares there. On the side, you've got designed by Jabo, inspired by Suck My Mod, Wismac, Theorem Atomizer, and your wee scratch and sniff there, and QR code on Wismac's website. Open it up. There she is there. You get glass tank with a stainless steel sleeve, and you get an large spare glass tank here. Bag of goodies, single airflow ring, and you also get a dual airflow. I like the dual airflow, so that's what's in it at the minute. Spare O rings and an Allen wrench and some grub screws. And you get a notch coil pre-installed when you first get it with cotton, and you get a spur. Then underneath the instructions, and that's all she wrote. So we'll get rid of that. The dimensions of the uh, the I call it an RTA because it is rebuildable. It's a rebuildable tank. Automator, so RTA. Um, others call it a hybrid automator or an RDTA. I suppose you could drip into it, but me personally, it's an RTA. So that's it. The dimensions are 46 by 25 millimeter and 22 millimeter. So we'll take it apart. Okay, mod. Got your drip tip. Top cap with a wee blocker. last piece and then the deck and that's your fill hole here so far I have not had any problems with the grub screws the deck would remind you of the indestructible setup and you've got a wee juice wheel here So yeah, it's pretty good, pretty easy. Not much really to it. So you have, like I say, you can put the notch coil in. Um, 
I had no problems with the notch coil. It was nice flavor wise. The problem is it doesn't really last that long. Um, after a day or two use, it was starting to to get there. Like, so I prefer using um, some stainless steel, 24 gauge stainless steel. So what I'll do is I'll stick a build in, do my usual sort of speedy up for you, and then we'll fill it up and vape on it. Round and round like a horse on a carousel We go, will I catch up to love? I can never tell I don't know, chasing after you is like a fairy tale speedy up out there I've coiled it and I've whipped it I've done vertical stainless steel coils get the focus in and I've whipped one side I'll talk through putting this other wick in so you can see how to do it properly Vertical stainless steel, 8 wraps, 24 gauge, 316L. So normally with verticals you come in from the top and pull down. But with this here, I come in from the bottom. So you're getting all the fat bit of the cotton in where your wick holes. Just put it through. Like that. So you've got all the fat bit down here. Trim your heads because you're not really using them in this. And then I like to trim it just level with the top o ring of the base. I know Johnny, he reviewed it the other day there. Um, Vape Reviews Belfast. Um, if you want to go and watch the way he does his, he done his slightly different. He done single horizontal coil going across. Um, I prefer dual coils, to be honest with you, in this setup with the dual airflow. Uh, for the way I vape, it's perfect. Just keep your cotton nice and fluffy, set it in there, make sure it's not interfering with anything it shouldn't be. Okay. 
sure it's away from the O-rings. Well, that looks the job to me. So now we'll stick the glass piece on and we'll fill it. One glass piece. Now, Johnny said as well, and it is true, majority of the time you need a dropper bottle with like a pipette because sometimes when you use these it doesn't really go into the whole well but for the sake that it's handy and I like the flavour today we're using some ice cream sundae from the lab range lovely in this time Let the wick soak that up. Put a wee bit on the colours actually. Now, the reason why I use stainless steel is because I actually like running this in stainless steel mode. I find you get more out of it. Juice wise, you're not as filling it as much because then you're getting all the juice out of the wicks rather than just a bit. And then fill again. Right, that's me ready to come up to vape and talk a little bit more on it. Alright guys, so that is it. Filled, wicked, ready to vape. Um, easy enough to build, that build that I did there, easy enough. The only thing is, you have to remember is, wrap one of your coils clockwise, wrap the other anti-clockwise for that setup. Um, for the vertical coils, but like I say, I have the dual uh, airflow, and in stainless steel mode, we are at 66.6 .6 watts, 470 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see, it works. Fuck, that's lovely. Um, the Sunday I reviewed it before but seeing this flavour is awesome. So yeah, I don't know where you can see. There's the coils there. The glass does tend to steam up folks. But no, got it on the Pico. Um that's the kind of way I like run it. Um like I say in stainless steel and Oh, it's just is that the battery's starting to go. <laughs> well, as you can see, it performs. Now, it is a flavor RTA. It's not for chucking clouds. You do get a nice, dense, thick cloud out of it, but it's not going to be your cloud chucker as such. But the flavor out of it is so intense. It is literally like vaping off a dripper. Um, I have to give big props to Jabo and to Matt from Suck My Mod for what they've done with this because it is unbelievable and it's so easy to wick most RTAs you have to be really precise with your, your wicks to get them in the right way or you're just going to get a dry hit or it's going to leak and flood not with this as you've seen guys I didn't really play much with the wicks there at all you literally I cut them like I said, to the top o-ring there of the base, that's what I use as a guide. Because with this here, you don't need it to be all the way down at the deck to the wicks. Because when you're lifting it up to take a vape, you're lifting the juice with the cotton. And the juice is just going to hit that cotton as you're pulling in. So you're going to pull that juice up the cotton as you're taking a draw. So yeah, it's a well designed that way. Um, what I will advise is when you first get it, it comes pre-installed with the notch coil with wicks in it if you clip one of the sides just a bit to where like so i said with the the top o-ring um just to let that juice flow around because i found the juice flow was very restrictive in the pre-installed cotton 
So just a wee tip for this. But apart from that, guys, it's a brilliant wee wee atomizer. And I highly recommend it. Would I buy another one? Yeah, I would. Um, I've been enjoying running this, and I've been using it all day. I even went out on Saturday night. A um, few people who follow me on Facebook, especially in some of the local groups, would have seen. Yeah, it was a wee bit worse for wear, and it was bumming and blowing about it. But yeah, highly recommend it. £29 in the Siggy shop, guys, if you're local. And I'll post um, a link for Wizmax site as well, so you can get it if you're not in the country. So, yep, guys, this was the Cloud Chasing Cyclist. Please, 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 thumbs up, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. All your thumbs up helps bump me up the key. And we'll like that, so will I. So, YouTube, keep her lit.